Ms. Riddick, starting broadly with Web3, could you discuss how blockchain, blockchain technology enables decentralized digital ownership? And could you highlight some of the use cases beyond DeFi? GeodeNet is an application that uh, pulls um, satellite data in order for farmers to have better predictability about their crops and to be able to enhance predictability. And we're actually seeing a 10 centimeter uh, accuracy. The device is spec to about a foot, which is 25 centimeters. So 10 centimeters is really outperforming. Man, we love GeoNet. It's, it's been a, a life changer for us. We fly drones for mapping and surveying all the time. And we're based in Dallas and Texas. We fly all over Texas. And so having a reliable RTK network um, is essential for us. GeoNet, being the network base, we're able to get longer range, even in areas that the cell phone signal wasn't that great. We found with, with GeoDNet that we could get further into trees, under trees, and we get close to the buildings. And the reason why that's important is because you want to cut as much grass as you can. So all those station operators are actually earning tokens. Yes. And that includes so, and folks that, in, in the GNSS community. We have lots right. of operators that are, you know, in the blockchain side, purely in the blockchain side, yeah. but there are many operators that are in the UAS community and the farming community um, and the survey community that also choose to operate stations for the economic benefit of earning uh, tokens as well as the utility benefit of having access to RTK data. Yeah, there's two main value propositions, I think, that GeoNet brings to Propeller. It's improving the robustness of the Propeller Corrections Network and improving the reach of the Propeller Corrections Network. Mind the sky.